Hi again from the garden. If you are new to my channel, my name is Christina and I garden in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa and I grow cut flowers to sell at weekly farmers markets. And in today's video, I just wanted to take you along through the harvesting and assembly of my market bouquets for the week. So today is a farmer's market day. It is the third week in August and I have been going to farmer's markets for I think five to six weeks. They've been going really well so far, but I am quickly finding out that I need more flowers. So along with harvesting and doing all of my bouquets for the week, I am also planning ahead for September and the first part of October to make sure that I have a steady supply of flowers up until frost, but that'll be a separate video. So this morning I am out here early doing my harvesting. I harvested a little bit last night, but what I am mainly harvesting this morning is some more celosia and gomfrina for fillers. I'm still getting a lot of snapdragons out of the garden. I have some zinnias to harvest and then a few other randoms um, such as some marigolds and some rubecchia. So let me just take you along on the harvest first and then we'll hop inside and start the bouquet assembly. So I am inside now, everything is harvested. I'm getting ready to go to the market, which is later this afternoon. So before I start putting my bouquets together, I just wanna show you what I'm working with this week. So I have quite a few sunflowers and I'll be putting one or two of these in each of my larger mixed bouquets. I have a bunch of snapdragons again. My snapdragons just keep on producing and I am loving it because it is so fun to be able to add one or two of these into my larger mixed bouquets. And then I also think that I have enough this week that I'm gonna do a few of my small little snapdragon bundles as my smaller bouquets to sell. Then I have a few zinnias and honestly, I have been really disappointed with how my zinnias have been performing this year. So I am definitely doing these different next year. Now, I pretty much know what I am growing next year and what I am not growing next year already. So watch for a video that is just on that subject, probably November-ish. Once, once frost hits and I get the garden cleared out, then I'll share with you my plan for next year already. Then I have a bucket of some Gomfrina and Celosia. Those will be great. And then I have some Heliopsis and a few of those larger tall marigolds which I've been loving those too. And then my two fillers this week, I have a whole bunch of dark opal basil, which is gonna be so pretty. And then I have some status and a bunch of white cosmos, which my cosmos just keep producing, which is fantastic. So my plan for this week is to put a few of these smaller Snapdragon bouquets together. And if you have watched my last two Market Bouquet videos, you saw me talk about my bouquet recipes, which basically is just the combination of flowers that I put together each week that helps me put them together a little faster. So this week I'm gonna have two different recipes again and they're gonna be using the different foliage that I have. So one of the recipes is going to be with the dark opal basil foliage 
And the other recipe is going to be using Status as my filler foliage and then some Cosmos. So it's going to be a darker bouquet and a lighter bouquet. And I think they're going to look great and be totally different. So I'm going to have a lot of variety in the market stand this week. So before I start working on those recipes, let me put a few of these Snapdragon bouquets together. Okay, so I have three of these cute little Snapdragon bouquets together. Now these all have eight stems and they're just a variety of colors. These are great little add-ons to put in my market stand each week. I sell them for just $10 and I even have kids come up and buy these for their moms. So they end up being really cute. So I'm gonna set these aside and then I will show you my first recipe that I'm doing for the week. Okay, so the first recipe I'm gonna to put together is utilizing this dark opal basil as filler. I think this is so pretty. I am definitely planting more of this next year. Um, but I want this specific recipe to be a little more um, darker and rich, like using the jewel tones. So I'm gonna use my zinnias with it, the darker celosia. And then my other recipe is gonna be more of like lighter colors, yellows. So they're gonna look completely different. So I'm gonna take a couple pieces of this basil filler first. Like, look at that one. That one is big. I'm gonna take some of these bottom leaves off. Now this basil does have a pretty strong scent to it, and so if you are someone that is sensitive to really strong scents, you might not wanna use this. I love the smell of basil, so I don't mind it. All right, so I have a couple bunches of that. Then I'm gonna put in some celosia as another accent flower. So I'm gonna put two pieces in. Oh my gosh, that's looking so pretty already. Then I'm gonna pop three gonfrina in. I'm gonna use this purple. There's gonna be a lot of purple in this. Okay, then I'm gonna put one Snapdragon in the middle for height and I'm gonna use the Potomac Royal. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Isn't that pretty so far? Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my sunflower in. Now these are not open yet, but they're gonna probably be open by tomorrow. And they're gonna be a little smaller, so I'm putting one um, main sunflower in there and then I'll put a smaller accent sunflower that is open. And I need to cut the leaves off of this one yet. All right, that looks good. Then I want a couple zinnias. So I'm gonna pick a gold one for this and a red one. These are the Benary's Giants. I think that's all I'm growing next year is Benary's Giants. I'm sure there'll be other kinds, but right now that's what I'm thinking because I just love them. Okay, so I feel like I need something else in the back. I'm gonna put one more of these basil fillers. I just need it to be a little thicker. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one more Snapdragon in there. That is looking awesome. All right, I'm gonna go wrap this and then I will show you what it looks like. Here's what recipe one looks like. Isn't that cool? I will put some close-up pictures up on the screen. But again, I used a bunch of that dark opal basil as the filler. I used a couple of pieces of the uh, more burgundy celosia as like an accent flower. It has two Potomac Royal Snapdragons two Benary's Giant Zinnias, and two Sunflowers, and three Gomfrina. So I'm gonna get a few more of these put together and then I will show you the second recipe.
three of these done so far. They are so awesome. This might be my favorite combination so far yet this year. And I'll put a close up picture of this on the screen. But I just love the vibrance of this combination so much. I think these will sell really well tonight at the market. All right, let me move a couple things and we'll do recipe number two. Okay, so for my second bouquet recipe, instead of the dark opal basil as the filler, I am going to use some status and some cosmos for that um, like white, light and airy look. Instead of zinnias, I am going to use these marigolds. I'm also gonna add in a couple of these heliopsis and then I'm gonna use some Celosia and Gomfrina, but lighter colors, and then I'm gonna use some sunflowers also. So let me start putting one of these together. I'm gonna to start off with one status. I have a little bit of yarrow in here too I might use. I feel like Cosmos can be so floppy sometimes, but there's such a pretty filler. There's one that's a little straighter. So I'm gonna use like four stems of Cosmos in with the status. That's a good base. Then I'm gonna add in my Celosia and my Gomfrina. So I'm gonna put one Celosia right in the middle. In the Gomfrina, I'm gonna use a mixture of the orange and the white in here. That's really cute. Then I'm gonna pop one of the branching marigolds in. And then I'm gonna add in some of these stems of Heliopsis. I'm gonna do like four stems of those. Then I'm gonna put, put a nice big sunflower in the front. And one more of the branching marigold on the side. And I think this needs a snapdragon too. All right, I'm putting two white snapdragons in there. That's better. Okay, so somewhere in the middle of that, my camera card ended up being full, so I apologize. But I have three of the second recipe done. Aren't those pretty? These are so bright and cheery and completely different from my other bouquet recipe. So in this one, which is mostly whites, yellows, and oranges, I have Cosmos and Status as those back fillers. I have some Selway White Celosia as an accent flower. I have some QIS white and orange gomfrina, some of those large marigolds, a couple snapdragons, some heliopsis, and one big sunflower. So I think that those are so pretty. And that's gonna be a really good variety for market with these and the jewel tone ones. So I'm gonna get all of my remnants together now and see if I can come up with three or four more mixed bouquets. Okay, so from what I have left, I'm gonna try and get three more bouquets in, which should not be a problem, because I have a bunch of these smaller sunflowers, and I can put two in each bouquet. And right there, that gives me four more bouquets just by the sunflowers that I have. Then I have a little bit of that basil left. I have a snapdragon and aster, some zinnias. I have a ton of cosmos and some yarrow. And then I do have a bunch of celosia and gonfrina left and some of that heliopsis. So I'm gonna just start putting some things together. Okay, here's bouquet number one. This has two of those little sunflowers in it, a zinnia, some celosia, some of the dark opal basil, one Potomac Lavender snap and Snapdragon, and a bunch of Cosmos, and some Gomfrina. Okay, here's bouquet number two. This one is super pretty. So this one has a little bit of yarrow in it, a bunch of that pale pink Celosia, some Cosmos. I ended up putting three small sunflowers in here, two of which are the gold light. Um, some QIS White Gomfrina, and then I have a really pretty aster right in front. So that takes on more of the whites and mauves for colors. Okay, let me do one more bouquet. 
Okay, this one can, ended up being kind of fun. Um, lots of leftovers. So I have a bunch of Cosmos, a bunch of Gumfrina, a Celosia, a couple Xenias, Cosmos, um, Heliopsis, and then three of the mini sunflowers that have yet to open. I don't know. I don't know if this one will sell. It'll be cute when the sunflowers open. So let me wrap this and then I will show you everything that I have. All right, so I ended up going out to the garden and clipping a couple more pieces of Celosia and a Potomac Royal Snapdragon. That looks way better. So everything's ready for the market. Let me show you what I have. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. I have three of the cute little Snapdragon bouquets. I have my three miscellaneous bouquets, um, three of recipe one and three of recipe two. So I think this is a really good variety for the market. And I should also add, I had a couple of custom orders go out the door this morning and so it has been a really busy flower day. So I'm gonna pack up and head to the market and at the end of the video, I'll show you how I did. Okay, so it is the morning after the farmer's market and it was another successful night of sales. I sold all of my bouquets except for one, so that just went home with me. Um, so stay tuned for a lot more farmer's market videos. Our markets here go through the beginning of October, which is exciting. And I think I will have another video up this weekend for you just to update you on a couple of projects that I'm doing out in the garden to hopefully increase my harvest for the months of September and October. Because if you watch my other videos, you've heard me mention that big market that I'm doing the end of September with a lot of vendors. So I wanna make sure that I have uh, probably three to four times the amount of bouquets that I normally do for that specific market. So um, fingers crossed and stay tuned. We'll see you soon.